Hi everyone, it's Simon from Simon's Discoveries. So today we're going to be reviewing a tarp. I received this to take a look at it and say what I think. First things first, this is made by Coltex and sold by Tier 1. Those are both Pol Polish companies. Coltex makes this and Tier 1 distributes it and sells it. Now I'm told that they will send this thing abroad so if you want to order one you're gonna have to send them a request they will deal with this individually the price on this is about well it's 130 pln polish zwoty i'm gonna post this in the description box down below because i'm not entirely sure myself at this stage all right so this thing is quite big as you can see out after unpacking it it's not almost, it's actually as big as my massive uh, plastic crude tarp. And surprisingly, it weighs a lot less. It opens up quite easily comes out and this pouch stays attached to it for good they say it's to prevent this from being lost well it's not a bad idea I suppose um, the only issue with this is that you can't use this for anything else if you have a separate pouch then you can use it for carrying water storing things or something like this this will stay attached to it so and it's also a bit tricky to pack this thing back in at first but it only took me a few seconds to get uh, used to it you just need to bear in mind and pay attention that this when you fold it back this doesn't end up on the inside of the tarp because you won't be able to put it in properly so this will have to be on the edge the bottom seam and then actually gets back in pretty easily All right, so we're gonna use this in many different manners because this is supposed to be a military type uh, tarp, which is good for many different things, not just from, for protecting you from rain. So we will set this up in several different configurations and use it for some other things that this is supposedly intended for. We'll see how it performs. So this is made out of quite good fabric there are some really heavy duty tapes through here through the middle especially with a lot of grommets some loops here for carrying this thing you can double it up and use it as a stretcher to carry people i usually travel on my own so if something happens to me i doubt this will come in handy i won't carry myself but it's an option it's big enough all right so let's see if this thing can support my weight well looks like it cannot right so the grommet popped it couldn't take it but to be honest this probably is my fault because uh, the whole weight just laid down on this bit here and one in front 
whereas the main things that were supposed to support my weight were these things and I guess they, they are much more reinforced they're supposed to be stronger let's see yeah uh, this is shown in this is the main tape the heavy duty tape so yeah that's my fault I was just a dumbass for thinking this would distribute my weight better okay let's try this again it's just the edge that got torn up so the uh, the tarp is still usable I'm sometimes I'm just trying to be too smart and uh, this is the result so let's do this properly Right, so it feels like it's about to break, but it's not breaking. So I guess if done properly, it should do the trick. Okay, so the most important thing is how waterproof it really is. Because that, this is this, its main job. It honestly has one job. Everything else is just something extra that you can come up with in a whatever situation. So because it wouldn't rain, I had to make my own rain. Yeah, it does the job pretty well. As you can see, the um, stops the droplets. I was confident enough to put my camera under the tarp and it didn't leak profusely. But, and this is where I actually felt the whole test could have stopped. Because after that, I just, just take a look at that. I noticed that the entire heavy duty tape was wet. So it's leaking along the whole stitching here, all seam. And yeah, I inspected that afterwards and turns out it's basically just not taped, sealed. So I asked the guy who sent me the tarp if, if this is how it's supposed to be, if that's how it's going to be sold. He says, no, this is just a prototype and it will be sealed later on. The problem is, I really don't think it's a good idea to send out a tarp for testing before it's actually waterproofed because that's its main job. So, frankly, what am I supposed to be reviewing here if it's not waterproof yet? To me, it's like testing a pair of Gore-Tex boots without Gore-Tex in them. Right now, I feel like I'm about to share my opinion about an idea because they say they will tape it, they will, they will seal it, but the devil is in the detail, you know. It all depends on how you're going to seal it, how this is going to stand up to the abuse. If it's going to, if it's going to be sealed properly, is it going to peel off? That's the kind of thing that I was expecting to test, really. Everything else is, as I say, just an extra feature. So if it ain't waterproof, then I would really suggest them to finish the product and send a finished product for testing. That's, that's just my opinion here. All right, so here we have a completely tentless option. Did I say tentless? I don't have the best day today. A hammockless, that's an option for where we only have the tarp. We don't even have to have a sleeping mat because simply we can put some grass over this sheet here 
and we'll, it will keep it soft. So yeah, the big advantage of this tarp is that it's so big. You can basically make a half tent and you can light a fire in front of it. Plus, you can carry it by yourself. I mean, this is light enough for one person to carry, big enough for basically two people to sleep, sleep in. I hear people ask, Simon, you dumbass, why didn't you put the ridge line under the tarp? It would keep it stretched much better. However, right now the ridge line is on the outside of the, well, let's call it half tent. Why? Because if it's underneath it, yes, it keeps the shape much better. It keeps the tent uh, much, it doesn't flop around, let's say, it doesn't flop around like this, okay? But the thing is, when this gets wet, and it will, when it rains really hard, the whole thing gets wet, and the water starts dripping down. And sooner or later, because the lowest point is inevitably somewhere in the middle of the tent, it will start dripping straight on your head. And that's why I don't like ridge, line, ridge lines on the inside. All right guys, it was nice meeting you again. I haven't had much sleep lately, so maybe that's why I've been so slow today, making so many stupid mistakes. But either way, thanks for a lot for joining me. I'm gonna have to wrap this up and have some rest. So in summary, what I think about this tarp, I think the idea of the tarp is really good. Unfortunately for me, at this stage, it's just an idea. How this is gonna turn out is all down to the sealing of the main tape. Because this, is, this thing has one job. It has to keep you dry when it's raining. If it can't do that, I can't really review it properly. Yes, it will support my weight. I'm not sure about heavier people but I suppose I weigh about 80 kilos, something like that, 176 pounds. So, and it does the job for me. Unfortunately, I didn't have anyone to lift me up in it or lift someone heavier than me. Uh, we would need about two, three people maybe to test this idea. Uh, we didn't have anyone like that, so I had to try and do it myself. So for this improvisation, it looks all right, I think it will do, it's, uh, if necessary. Um, it's definitely big enough, you can see the spacious. I mean, it will definitely uh, house two hammocks, at least two people, even with part of it folded, creating a floor. So, yeah, and for this size, this strength, durability, and with such low, relatively low weight, I think it has the potential of being a good tarp, really good product. But for now, like I said, it's like testing Gore-Tex boots without Gore-Tex. No idea, you know. It's uh, whether or not this is gonna withstand the, the abuse with the tape under or even the question of whether they're gonna put the tape underneath or on top of it is a big unknown to me because as I showed you before if, they, if they're planning to do it underneath obviously there's gonna be this grommet and uh, some loops in the way so they can't do it obviously they're gonna have to do, do it on the outside now I've never seen this done like that so I don't know how this is gonna turn out you know whether or not this is gonna do, be done properly uh, if it's going to be strong enough to even withstand the stretching when you set the tarp. 
So, yeah, I guess we're just gonna have to wait until they make the proper version and they will have to send it to people again for testing. I'm gonna include all the links, necessary links, in the descriptions, description box down below. So if you are interested in one of those in the future, you're gonna have the links for your convenience in the description box down below. All right, that's it for me. I'm going to sleep, so have a nice day. See you next time. Oh, I'm so stupid today. Anyway, uh, I forgot to mention uh, the proper review, a lot of text and pictures is going to be on my website as usually, simonsdiscoveries.com. So please check this as well if you feel like you need any more information. Yeah, all the links and info and specs is going to be there as well. So see you next time.